Hey guys, it's Tristan Vlogs back with another video and today we're going to be making food, fish and shrimp. Yes sir, let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you guys how to make it, prepare it, and show you guys how I do it my way, the Tristiano way. Yes sir, let's get straight into it. Hey guys, so right now we're in the kitchen. It's a little messy, I know, but trust me, bear with me. So what you're going to want to need is your shrimp, right? You know, you got jumbo shrimp, whatever, small shrimp, whatever. And then you got your fish, okay? You gotta drain it out. It still needs to be a little thawed out. That shit is like... Shit, okay. And then you got some pieces that are a little thawed out, but before we move on to this, I'm just gonna fill it up with a little bit of water to keep it thawed out. Not off, not like really hot, but like you want it to be like at like a room temperature. So like it doesn't like make the meat mushy, you know what I mean? So we're gonna leave that there. We're gonna put a little bit on the shrimp. The shrimp doesn't really matter. You can leave it in. You can put it straight in the pot, but I'ma just, I'ma just show you guys what's up. And yes, I washed my hands before we started this, so it should be good. Let's go. Okay, so now we're moving on to the grill. We're gonna cook most of the food on the grill. And so this is what it looks like. Yep, this is what it looks like. We're gonna cook the, sh the, uh, the fish on here. We're gonna put the oil and like, we're gonna go inside and season it up a little bit. Right now, we're gonna start it up. So, if you come down here, on this side, right here, we're gonna turn it on. Okay, since we have that on now, now we just see if it works. Guys, look at that flame, bro. Come on, Yo, come closer, look at that flame. Yes, sir. So we're going to turn on all of them, get it heated up, and then we're going to place this right here. We're going to put it on low for now. Show them the view, man. We went crazy when we got this town out. We went crazy. But now it's kind of time to go prepare the food while this warms up. Okay, so now since the fish is nice and you know just like done, we're gonna kind of dry it off nice and softly, not too much because you know it's really whatever. So we're just gonna you know, kind of dry it off just a little bit. Us and I'm not really a big fan of this shrimp, but I mean this uh fish, but it tastes good so. Once we feel like it is like dry enough and everything, we put it here to get ready for seasoning. We, you know, we, when, we show, when, we, when we season up the fish, you gotta show it love. You can't be too stingy, you can't be too greedy. We wanna just show it that right, like part, like percentage of love, honestly. Okay? So then now we got our pieces. Let's get a close up. We got our pieces and they're ready for seasoning. Now, just follow me over to the cabinet. Now this is very important. When you pick the seasonings for the for the fish, hmm, we're gonna go with a little bit of no, where is it? It's over here. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. We're gonna have that right here. And then, we are going to add, you know, we have the garlic powder and then we have the, and then we got some of your boys all purpose seasoning. Yes sir, can't go wrong with anything. Can't go wrong with this. So, now I'm gonna show you guys how to love it. How to just make the love just appear. So we're gonna clean out the bowl that we use. Just give it a little rinse. Kind of dry it out because you don't want it to be wet. You want everything to be nice. Well, I mean, you want it to be a little moist, but not that moist. Okay. Now what we do is see this. We're just gonna. 
Show us some love. Show us some love. Show us some love. Not too much. Show us some love. Get it in the little cracks, creases, you know? Just like how you wipe your ass, you gotta get in the creases, bro. And you just us, us it with some all purpose. And not too many people like to cook it with the skin on, but I do. And I just show us some love on the side. Show us some love. Show us some love. Then you get this one. Same thing, show us some love. Yes, sir. Then you just wanna rub it in, going the way the skin goes. Just rub it in. Don't wanna make it mushy, so you just rub it in nicely. Just add a little bit, it's all personal preference. Okay, now we have the shrimp season, I mean the fish season. And now it's time to go take it on the grill. Okay guys, you see? Our skillet is looking nice and hot. Nice and hot. Ooh, I almost forgot. We have to get the oil. All right. We have to get the oil. vegetable oil okay Ooh, I almost forgot one thing I love to do one thing I love to do with my fish is I love to soak it just a tad bit in some alcohol I'm gonna show you. so what I do is you just just a little sprinkle right and then get a, just a tad bit of obey And then once you have that, you walk over here. Oh, you walk over here. And you get any type of alcohol, white alcohol, whatever, and you just come, come. You just smell the, 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 the reminisce, and then you just pour a little bit in there, in that jar. Wait, wait, do you take a sip too? And if it, if you taste a little bit of the alcohol a little too much, then you just show us some more love. Simple as that. Simple as that. Simple. Now we come over here. You get your fish. You just. Honestly, you can just pour it on, but what I'm gonna do is just just mix it in, mix it in, mix it in. Just put it back, and same thing, just mix it in, mix it in. And one thing is, most of the time when I cook my fish, I put butter, and we can do that. But I feel like that will just be a little bit too much. It smells amazing. Okay. And now that we have all of our stoves on, this one doesn't want to turn on. Now that we have all of our stoves on and it is hot, we get some pure uh, vegetable oil. And we just let that bitch sizzle on it. And then that will tell us if the skillet is ready for us to use. So we're just gonna pour a little bit and see what happens. I would say give it a few more minutes. We're just gonna put it on high to speed up the process. But for now, we're just gonna 
just a little bit. Oh, I almost forgot my spatula. I'll always have to get the spatula. So for right now, what this is doing is it's gonna make it so the fish does not stick on it. And it is able to, you know, just like, just reminisce and so it's just like all the flavor and all the like goodness just gets everywhere. And everybody's happy, simple. Everybody is happy. And another thing is, I wouldn't recommend using this as something you were gonna scoop or just anything, but honestly, it's whatever. Okay, now we just kinda wanna figure out what we're dealing with. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put us the butter right on and see what happens. Yes sir, that's what we're that's what we like. That's what we like. So we're gonna put the butter there. We're just gonna put a tad more olive oil. Right there. Now come come closer. This is where the magic happens. Now we put the fish on. With a little poppy. But once you start cooking, you get used to it. Okay? So we're just gonna let that sit right there. And we're gonna put it on low, almost low. And we'll be right back. Okay, so now how we're gonna cook the shrimp is you're gonna go get some aluminum foil, any kind, any size, and you're just gonna get a big roll. Get a big roll like this, right? Big roll like this. And you're gonna put it in so that um, it, the shrimp does not burn when you are cooking it. You're gonna put a little bit in here like this, and that's what it looks like. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your seasoning in there. Regular old day, nothing's gonna hurt you. I prefer a lot because I just love seafood. And then you're tripping. Then once that you have that, you're gonna come over here. You're gonna turn on this side. the last burner on and then while we have that burner going since we don't have since we don't have beer we're gonna have to use a little bit of alcohol you can just use water but I prefer to use a little bit of alcohol just like as a base so just a little bit and then the rest of the ingredients that you put in since we do not have vinegar we are gonna improvise and put just a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water. Give us some love. And now we take it to the grill. We put it on. And we just let it sit. We let it do its job. We let it get hot. All that. And then while that's happening, we check on our fish. Pretty good. It's going pretty good.
pretty good. Gotta make sure everything's right. And everything. Everything's looking fire, super fire. And what I'm thinking is, what we could do is not let this butter go to waste and we are gonna put this straight on with the fish. Yes, heard me correct, straight on with the fish. Rub it on, give it a little bit of love. I know it's a lot of seasoning, but trust me, we're gonna have a taste tester tell me how or what he thinks everything tastes like. And it's just gonna be a whole lot of love after this. I'm telling you guys, a whole lot of love. Oh, shit. A whole lot of love. Now we're just gonna bring this in. Then we're just gonna. You always wash your stuff. You always wash it, especially now during the corona. You always gotta wash your stuff. But with the shrimp, we're just gonna finish draining it. And then like always, we, sh we just showed a little love. Showed a little love. Showed a little love. Most people like garlic powder on their, sh on their shit. I do. So you just showed a little love. Showed a little love. Showed a little love, it's gonna, it's gonna taste so good guys, I'm telling you. And instead of putting it on while it's on the grill, you just put it straight on here. Too much, there's no such thing as too much obey guys, I'm telling you. No such thing as too much obey. I'm telling you guys right now, you guys are learning from the king as we speak. Now, ooh, this looks so good. Right now, we just have everything cooking, and we're gonna flip it on its side. Look at that, so moisture, so moist. Ooh, a little piece broke off. That's okay. Ah! Don't get that. Don't get that. Okay, now. We had a little bit of difficulties, but we are going to flip it. And there we go, voila. We're gonna let that cook. And since we have this cooking, what we're going to do is I'm thinking this, I'm thinking this, it's pretty good. It's pretty good so far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the shrimp in there. You guys see it? It's taking a little bit longer for the, the shrimp uh, water to get hot. As expected because we're cooking on a grill. Didn't really think that through, but hey, we're gonna get this food cooked. But right now, we just letting the, the uh, fish cook. It's looking great. Can we get a close up? We got all the herbs and everything. You see, straight white right there, bro. Straight white. That's what we want. And the nice colored disorientation right here is looking very good. Right now. not gonna be enough power for our shrimp to cook so right now we're just gonna use this stove top to cook our shrimp so we're just gonna let this get to a little steamy and then we'll put the cover over the shrimp we'll put the cover over the shrimp while it's cooking I know this is very ghetto but this is all we have okay bear with me so we're just gonna let this cook and we're gonna go check on it Oh man, this is so fire. Just 
absolutely great. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it back on its side. Just flip it back right on its side. This method takes a little bit of time to cook just because just because we're using the skillet and the stove method. But besides that, everything tastes great. There's no difference in the taste. Everything is just perfection. You will not be disappointed if you guys were here. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells amazing. How about that camera? Man? Smell good? Yeah, dude. All right, now, let's come look over here. It's looking good, it's looking good. Now what we do is, you see our shrimp, our batter we made earlier? Now we just dump it in. We just dump it in. We just dump it in. And remember what I showed you guys about showing that love? You just, let's get a close up, bro. You just sprinkle it on. Enough cannot hurt. It cannot hurt. And then, once you think you have enough, just put the pot, the pan on top. You let it cook. You put it on almost high, medium, low. I forgot, but hey, it's all gonna work out. Okay, and to get your shrimp prepared for eating, we are going to get a plate and put it right here. And we are gonna get. I think we're just gonna we're just gonna get this. Put it right here. And just follow me. Ooh, that shrimp, that fish is looking mighty good. You see how it's raising up? That's how you know it's cooking. You see, all that stuff we added, it is not sticking. Just gonna make sure it looks cooked a little while longer. And we are in business, guys. I am telling you. This is the ultimate method for cooking fish, guys. I'm telling you. And later on today, we will have a taste test on the final product and just see how everything tastes. So we will be back in a minute. Okay, guys, now the fish is basically done. So I will catch you guys back when we have everything on the plate and ready. First, I gotta go get the rice and everything made, but for now, we'll just see you guys when we're ready for dinner. Table. Hey, delete that part, Come bro. To the camera. Oh, Come to the yes. table. Oh yeah, what am I working with? Mm. My turn. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm gonna just have you tell me what you think about the food. First of all, we better try the shrimp first. It looks good. Okay. Okay, shrimp on point. Yes, sir. Let's go to the fish now.
like, nah. Y'all really thought I was gonna use my hand. Bro. So it's. This shit hits. This shit hits, y'all. So, what's up? This shit hits. You guys heard it from him. The cameraman behind all the scenes, you heard it from him. But, hey. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more cooking videos if you guys like this one. Please smash that thumbs up button right now and go tell your friends to go watch this video and like and subscribe. Don't forget, everyone eats. Yup. See you guys later.